Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Read this. The Table Church, Jesus, Justice and Inclusion. As if Jesus was an LGBTQ activist. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we have a different type of reaction video for you. We're gonna watch DC Pride Gets Degenerate by Seth Says. Of course, we already know this video will get flagged for hate speech, demonetized, shadow banned and all the rest. So if you can do me a huge favor, just leave it a thumbs up and if you can, share it. And now, let's have a look. What's up guys, this is Savannah Hernandez at DC Pride. As you can tell, I'm very excited to be here at this family-friendly event that smells like Snoop <laughs> yes. Dogg's house and where people are openly drinking alcohol in the streets. Let's go check it out. Shake my ass! Shake a little something, you know what I'm saying? Have more gas. Absolute disgusting filth. <laughs> what people don't understand is they will call me bigoted, homophobic, racist and whatnot. But the reality is there is a bunch of people engaged in sexual activity openly on the street. Even if we would assume that every single one of them was heterosexual, it would still be wrong. Shake a little something, you know what I'm saying? Have more yeah. gay sex. She spoke for it. She said it all. Okay, wow. y'all. So we're in and that's what this movement is really about. Having more gay sex. That's all they care about. If you look into the numbers of homosexuals and their sex partners, you will see staggering numbers. Oftentimes it's 10 times as high as their heterosexual counterparts. This is a degenerate movement focused on hypersexuality and not about human rights. For it. She said it all. Okay, she said it all. <laughs> so we're in Washington DC celebrating Pride. Why are we here today? Why is this important? Well, look at this wolf in sheep's clothing. They're taking the name of the church as if they are representative for true Christianity. True Christians are of course against homosexuality, sodomy and other perversions. Read this. The table church, Jesus, justice and inclusion. As if Jesus was an LGBTQ activist. Wow. Um, Pride is very important to me. I just came out as pansexual this past year. Pride comes before the fall. Actually, our first pride. So we're just Look seeing at this. things. This is just a fetish. Sorry for interrupting it that often, but there is so much input I have to react to. Those are guys that have a kink. They want to dress up as dogs and have sex with each other. Why would you have to display this outside for everyone to see? We've never seen before and accepting all kinds of new things wow. and it's just yes amazing. ideal absolute perfection social justice yay there you have a child waving this flag being surrounded by a bunch of dudes where are the parents it's been amazing as a trans woman i just feel so you're not a woman here and i feel very comfortable in my area i don't have to feel like i'm being attacked or being destroyed by anyone yeah and usually you're being attacked and destroyed this is why you're still here the lgbt community is always being misrepresented underrepresented and just shit on we need to stop shitting on the lgbt community and give them their flowers but you are on that community yourself by engaging in frivolous sexual activity out in the open swinging plastic dildos around in front of children uh, you do it yourself our cultural cultural things are from the lgbt community so we need to just stand up and say gay rights like what, what are some of those things give us some examples oh fuck um how come i can't think of anything tell us what you guys <laughs> identify as we're asking everyone here gay today gay gay cis um uh, what is it cisgender male there we go there you go can't even remember his own delusion i don't know gender gender neutral or gender fluid i think that's what they said i don't know i'm confused so you identify as gender Fantastic. fluid i don't know um pronouns are he him sometimes you say i don't give a shit um i'm gay at what age did you know that you were gay um <coughs> I think at like 10 I knew that I, I think at 10, but I wasn't like, 
If there was no input from media, you wouldn't even know what it means to be gay at the age of 10. I wasn't clear on my No gender. chance. Yeah, I I think it, it was around like 10 as well when I, st I started questioning if I was bi. And then since then it was kind of like a, a slippery slope because I kept, I was like, am I bi, omni, lesbian? And then I, I kind of like, Exactly, all of those concepts you have been taught. Moreover, those are concepts of perverted sexuality. So as you mentioned, bi, for example, would mean that you want to seek out to have sex with men and women. You reflected upon that as a 10-year-old. Can you see how sick this is? Like, no. Came to the point, and then now recently I've been like, am I pan? But then I like, I think now I'm starting to realize that I'm queer. But yeah, it was. It started around ten. It wasn't like it just don't fully only. formed. But I guess like that's when I realized. Wait, that's a possibility. Yeah, I am gender queer, trans mask, and queer. <laughs> What's trans mask? Trans mask is like people under the non-binary umbrella at identifying like or presenting mask. Masculine? Yeah. What about you? Um, I'm trans and uh, un my sexuality is unlabeled. Um, I use he, him pronouns. Yeah, and I use he, they pronouns. Fluid. Fluid? <laughs> Can you explain what that means to me a little bit more? Mentally ill. Whatever turns you on. <laughs> so I'm laughing, but essentially this is a very, very sad thing because this guy here in the back is a slave to his own desires. He says casually, whatever turns you on. But the reality is, of course, that he cannot control his urges. This is why he's dressed up like Marilyn Monroe with a white afro and a Chechen beard whilst drinking Jack Daniels and Coke. Whatever turns you on. Exactly. He, her... It, I feel like, honestly, honestly, it should not be a bad thing. Like, I've talked to people who go with they and them. And I'm like, well, in the grammar of things, how would you want to represent yourself? I was like, I mean, I guess it, because it's like, you're, you're it, you're the it. Like, wow. it shouldn't be a bad name, it should just be owned. Get of course, it's all about them. Total self-obsession. This is why it's titled Pride. They are full of themselves. Dad, I, I, I identify as uh, I. I, I'm oh. this. Uh, I, uh, she. She. I guess you could Tell call me. me gay. I'm homo flexible, really. I do like some women, but mostly men. If you would get into shape, balance your hormones, you would probably get more women and not settle for men. Well, I'm pansexual and pride is important to me because I I knew I liked girls for a long time, but my dad was kind of like homophobic and I'm a daddy's girl, so it was like hard to tell him. But he ended up coming around, so that's I didn't get to go to pride last year or the year before, so I'm here now. What's pansexual for maybe some of the viewers who don't know? You're attracted to anyone regardless of their gender, so... Woman, man, transsexual, or whatever you identify as, basically. I'm a male. I identify as a man. Um, as far as sexuality is concerned, I'm kind of open, like... I mean, if you excite me, then you excite me, you know? Just for your clarification, this is a grown man dressed up as a leopard. Me, you know? In case you didn't notice. notice. There's a lot of kids in attendance this year. Do you think that's a good thing? you think it's good that we're introducing kids at a younger age? Um, I, I mean... It doesn't it makes me it's not like it's killing the kids. Like it's literally just something different. It's just like dress up. Kids are gonna think what they wanna think. They're gonna have a mind of their own. Rather you show them uh like man and woman or like same sex, like they're gonna have a mind of their own. Absolutely, kids gonna have their own mind no matter what they're being exposed to. On that note, let me just move a bit so you can see this tragedy behind me. Ah. No worries, bombard those children with cleavage, with naked butts. They will make up their own mind. <laughs> it's literally just something different. Yes, it's just like something different. <laughs> Kids are going to think what they want to think. They're going to have a mind of their own. Rather you show them uh, oh, like, man or women perverts, or like, same man. sex. Like, they're going to have a mind of their own. Right? I think it's a good thing. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like your kid should understand. Sorry. You should oh, understand wow. that it is actually okay to be who you want to be. At your age. What? Oh, uh, what do those kids know? They don't understand time anything. Through puberty, to understand if you're not that person, like if you are just they, them, cool. If you're her, cool. If you're him, cool. Just love yourself for who you are. Uh, I think that it's really good because um, a lot of people like that are claim to not be homophobic say that like. They shouldn't get their kids in, in, involved. They shouldn't get kids involved with this type of stuff. There was a kid waving a trans flag. But like, 
It should be in adding little kids what? to it, it kind of get kids involved with this type of this stuff. This is so a that, like, young black boy twerking. It should be in adding little kids to it, it kind of helps normalize oh, crime. Wow, man. I think that's between them and their parents. I'm not getting involved in that. Um, I absolutely love You're it. Drunk, I work bro. at a Montessori daycare and we are very open sexuality based with our children. We have. Did you hear this? We are sexuality based with our children. And we are very open sexuality based with our children. We have Wow man, how does sex have to do anything with children, you filthy pervert? Very, very this video weird, will be removed. It's just a beautiful community, you know so I'd love to see it here as well. It's just the hate speech. Hate they speech. get the chance to see such a diverse culture they get the chance to be open to whatever oh. their body or their mind is telling themselves they get to learn that at such a young age and i love that for them like you would make a great mother and i love that for them like i like i'm so excited for our future because i know that it's going to be way more open and like accepting oh. and i'm really like happy that i see children here i'm shaking I love look at this it. i think it's great i absolutely love it I think they need to be showed from when they're young to, to be accepting of stuff, so... You have to accept it and stuff. I don't really have an opinion either way. Uh, kids need to know these identities exist. Um, <coughs> Stone it! I would say that's outrageously inappropriate today. Wow. 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 That's a man shaking his butt. Accept this now. You have to accept it. You bigot, homophobe. Accept it already. Yeah, it makes kids open minded because a lot of kids open -minded. grow up probably in a household where being a part of the. Open minded to what, really? I'm trying to wrap my head around this. They should be open minded for men twerking naked with their butt cheeks out outside. Do you even comprehend what you're saying? LGBTQ community isn't that accepted and they want to come wow. out. But the way they were raised won't allow them to. And I'm glad these kids are raised in a way that they accept everyone regardless of who they are. I will forever support a child who wants to do whatever they want. Uh, with their whatever and um, I will always be there for any children who want to pursue drag things that they are LGBT in any sort of way I will always support them you will always support children three four five year old kids chopping off their penises yeah always. I think that's amazing because when they're young and they're able <laughs> to express themselves like that they're gonna grow older and be even more like amazing human beings and like destigmatizing that like fear yeah it's ultimately a get together of mentally insane people that that that's what it is just a few years back we would call the mental asylum and lock them all up and like that's basically what it is amazing and i'm very happy and I'm proud of the younger generation i i feel like it's important that children get to know that there it's okay to be any color of the rainbow you know yeah any color of the rainbow this guy is morbidly obese and is waving a trans wheat flag so you're in the promotion of gluttony using drugs and adultery cool what about some of the adults that are naked or kind of twerking in front of kids what do you think now that's a little mm, oh yeah you think i it is pride it's pride month so like be prideful but i guess like <laughs> be proud of kids kind of mm, Making sure that wow. children are aware of what is around them is important, you know? Just because you are around certain things doesn't mean that you're going to be persuaded to be a part of things, but you should be aware of the other type of people that live around you. And if you're not capable, you know, it's a developmental problem. And this is how we fix that problem. All right, let's wait a few years when they finally added the P to the LGBTQ ABCDEFG for pedophiles and then they're gonna promote that to your children as well and if the children are disturbed by old men going after them that is a developmental problem the kids who maybe yeah. saw some nudity here maybe saw some twerking yeah. what do you think about that sometimes when you grow up you see some nudity do you understand that it helps you to understand who you are sometimes you're gonna see some twerking as it stands twerking is an african dance it comes from african dances that was not a sexualized thing until we made it a sexualized thing. Yeah, absolutely. A woman shaking her ass in front of you is not a sexual thing. It's an African thing. Don't be racist. So as far as the children seeing it, they're going to have questions about it regardless because parental sensors are ineffective. So 
it being around is just a part of life and if you are incapable as a yeah parent, it's just a part of life it has nothing to do with the liberal hellhole that we are living in so he is correct the children will rebel against parents if the parents try to remove their children from this filth the issue however is that this filth exists within our societies and is being pushed into our societies it is abnormal explain it to your children you have to do a little bit of work with yourself because all of these things are not just going to be around they are around and they're also going to be amplified they've been amplified before in the roman empire in the greek empire and this is when those empires fell what would you guys say to people yes. in maybe the right wing who view this as a bad thing what would you guys say to them the right wing. um that's a hard one it we is. come from a very right wing town we do. Our, our town is very small but i think i would just say that this is love like you don't have to see this as something that is really negative or trying to intrude on your views because if you can't tell this community is very accepting <laughs> <laughs> it's not about your ideology intruding my views the point of the story is that you're dancing naked on the streets if you can't tell this community is very accepting let us be prideful that's all i'll say all right guys this is it for today's video i made all the commentary i had to the video is long enough as it is so i'm gonna cut it off here watch the video until it's still on before i get my next strike share it as much as you can like it as much as you can all right guys but this is it for today's video if you want to support this channel all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for watching as always may god bless you all especially after this video much love and peace.